Hi, today I'm going to create a small uh, tutorial to create PDF files for each Excel rows. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm going to create or you want to have uh, this type of Excel. So as you can see in there, the name, uh, the subject and then the grand total is there. So I'm going to create a report card for each of these students. So when, especially when uh, uh, with the COVID pandemic, when, when uh, teachers are doing the online lessons, so they might have to, you know, they might want to send the report card to each student. So their data might be in this type of Excel. So they want to create a report for each student. So then I'm using, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm taking this row and convert it to a PDF form and send it to a student. So towards the end of the tutorial, so you will get this type of a PDF file. So as you can see, the name and all the marks which are which were there in the Excel sheet uh, are listed here. So uh, as you can see, if, if you are doing it in a manual way, so you need to copy all the data one by one and create this type of report card for each student. Let's say if you have hundreds or 200 students, so then it might be really hard for you to create manually. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm helping you or I'm uh, show in this tutorial how to create a, a report card by using Excel sheet in a more automated way so that that is your job and it, it, it takes around you know five ten minutes right so let's go to the tutorial and see how we can design a report card like this right so now it's the time to design the report for that so you need to create another tab you can rename it as design as you wish and then you need to design the report. So let's say I'm, I'm designing it like this. So I'll first add these two columns for my header. And then I said name and then subjects commerce, then English, then maths. Likewise, so you need to design your report. So I'm creating very small report, so you can design as you prefer. Right, so these two names, I'm actually merging these two. Right. To, to have my header and here, so these are the placeholders in order to hold the data right here. I will say report card, right? And then, so you can do it as you want. So there's no any, any way of doing it. So you can design your report as you wish. And you can, if you want, you can add a logo as well. Yes, so I'm adding a small logo of my theme name so you can do it your school logo or whatever you can add there right and add, add a small border here So I'm adding out uh, the color first, a nice color, and then. All right, so my small report format is generated. So you can do it as you want. So there's no any specific way of doing it. So you can design as you want. So this will be uh, my report card uh, for this tutorial. Right, so now we need to write a small code in order to get the data and automatically fill this and create a PDF file. So that is what I'm going to do here. So I'm going to the developer tab and I click Visual Studio or Visual Basic. Right, so now I'm in Visual Basic attached to Excel, right? So here there's a design sheet and my mark sheet. So here I write the uh, code to the design sheet. So I'll click here. And I will, uh, I have all written the code. I will paste it here and I'll explain it one by one because this tutorial I'm creating especially for the teachers and, and anyone who's having very uh, low IT knowledge to use this. So I'll, I'll give the code to you so you can adjust it as you want. 
but I'll explain the code one by one because this is very simple to understand. So first I need to write a, a small function called export PDF and then I need to define the worksheet. So it is like, you know, dim and design uh, detail sheet as a name and the worksheet and the report sheet. So I need to define the report sheet and then I need to set the active sh two sheets there. So then I use set report sheet as active workbook sheet design. So this is just a methods in visual basics. So then the most important part in this for loop to this, actually I'm using a loop. So what I'm going to do in this loop is, yeah, so I will take, let's say this one. So I'll take Callum and copy it to name and then Callum's commas mark copy into this one and then English Callum's English mark copy into this one and then it's maths mark copy into this one and the grand total copy into this one and then I create a PDF file by using this sheet so that is what I'm doing in the code and once that PDF file has been created then in the loop I go to the next line this line so then I'm going to uh, take the name as Fred to here and his marks to uh, these three marks to these four marks to these four uh, cells and I'm creating a PDF and then I loop 20 times in order to get uh, data for all the uh, students right so back to the code so here's my loop loop through each row so as I mentioned I have created some variables in order to uh, store the values which is in the mark sheet so cell number I have to uh, you know change the cell number as a variable so cell row number and column will be kind of fixed in the data sheet so here this is the row number this is the column number right so then I will add so in in the sheet the Callum's name his marks will be added first and then in the report sheet that means the design sheet I'll assign that value or the variable values to these cells I will fill these values to these cells then I will create the PDF by using this code this is a predefined code you can use it or can find it and I'm going to save the PDF file into this location and this name is the student name so I can give any name that you want so if you want name and index number or something you can give it right so the PDF file name can be created you know dynamically that means you know you don't want to give a fixed name you can define any name for the PDF file then I iterate I will go to the next time and I will loop again so then it the I will change to 3 and then the cell number will change to 3 row number will change to 3 so it will go through each and every row right so now I'm going to run my code by using this mark you can run it as you can see it it loops as you can see my my uh, cursor will be setting uh, moving so my program now executed finish right so we'll go to the location D app and see whether we have got the uh, PDFs created correctly right so now as you can see my D app folder got all the students information as PDF file so now as a teacher it's just a matter of sending the report card to your students so here's the report card for Callum so this is what how we have designed it so you can do any fancy designs that you want but the concept is more into same so hope uh, this concept will help you to create PDF file for each Excel rows and thank you very much for watching my video and please subscribe my channel for more uh, this type of uh, videos thank you very much